Yes, guys, you know I like to get straight into it, but before we do today, I want to say to all of you, thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, your comments. We are building quickly. This community is building quickly, and it's great to see. And to have you guys at the start of this, it's sick. You guys are going to be able to see everything. I just wanted to say thank you, and I appreciate all of you. And let's get into it. Good to see these young guys getting wiser i've shown you guys time and time again on this channel modern day women that have these ridiculous expectations they expect men to earn a load of money they expect an amazing ring they expect their life to be provided for but what are they giving you if she's only giving you the and she's not really worth it all she becomes in is an expense i can literally give you everything and you'll never be satisfied your idea of everything is relative to you it's not me and that's where y'all get to get wrong. Y'all come in and think, okay, I'm giving him what I think is everything. No, what what woman, does he think? A though? woman could cook, clean, not ask you for much, not get on your nerves, vibe with you. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. You still wait, wait, wait. Not stop be right there. Satisfied. When you said don't get on your nerves, that's how I knew you was lying. <laughs> that's how I knew you was lying. Let me stop you right there. Before you go any further. Cut that bullshit out straight away. She knows she's annoying, but he makes a good point. A lot of the time, women give what they think the man needs or the typical things they've heard men need without actually getting to know the personal needs of the person they're with. The typical things, oh yeah, you cook, you clean. And if you're planning to be a richer guy, a high value guy, he's probably already got cooks and cleaners. So then what? <laughs> Don't get honey trapped. You might be on some online dating. You might be from a rough area or whatever. You gotta be careful meeting these girls, man, that you've never met before. Especially if they're from a different place from where you're from. If you think there's a chance or risk of anything, then take a friend with you. Sometimes you might be thinking you're going there to smash, but really someone's gonna smash your face in and rob all your shit. Stay safe, King. You know what that facial expression meant? There's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets. I'll answer this question. What? Would you rather be with Zendaya? Zendaya. Or me? Or me? Zendaya. What I mean, do you mean? What it about me? Be Zendaya. What? What about me? I mean, it's Zendaya. So I'm your girlfriend. Because I haven't met her yet. Dejan. It's literally for a video. Dajon don't care, it's a video, he just wants Zendaya. Now yeah, that's her joke and everything, but let's be honest with ourselves. As much as we talk about how women would leave a guy that's high value, or leave a guy for money, men do it as well. Men replace their older women with younger wives, with better looking wives. Happens all the time for both sides. But what I've noticed, it just seems before the man has money, works more in favour for the woman. Because women have way more options. As soon as a man's got more money, the tables turn. I thought my ex was my first love, but it was such a toxic and unhealthy relationship. Sometimes your first love isn't your first love, but your first attachment. And I realized that. If you've had that toxic first relationship when you're younger, it's actually good to get out of the way as long as you're good at learning from your mistakes and you're not attracted to going with those types of women all the time. Because if you go with someone that's not good for you, you realize what you don't need in life. We do not care. Now no, I don't like seeing her cry, nothing like that. I can be brutal, but I'm not that savage. I don't even know if that TikTok's linked or if he's just made it as a joke. He probably has nothing to do with that girl. Point is in this TikTok is when you've broken up with someone or you're feeling really bad, you've got that horrible feeling in your stomach, you don't want to get out of bed, anything like that. There's no point sitting around moping around. That is not gonna help anything. You gotta get up, pick yourself back up, get back out there. Oh no, I cheated. What is your response? Oh no, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Like I've already told you guys, if she cheats, she belongs to the streets. 